Greetings, people of the internet. This is section number three. We're recording. Yeah. If you enjoyed, so greetings to the leader of the six number three. Now today are my results on Illustrator. If you don't know what Illustrator is, it's a program like Photoshop, which is a vector-based program to draw in, right? Now, first off, I had a lot of problems with this program. Number one. <laughs> Beep. My, there was no pressure sensitivity on my pen. That's, and it could just be a, a default in my pen. Like, a defective thing on my pen. But wait, if it's a defective thing on my pen, then why does my pen work with every other program? Now, it turns out, because I forgot about this, that it may just be a problem with my driver not working with that. But it, I thought Illustrator was new. And if it, it says, it, but it didn't work. Or maybe there's just no pressure sensitivity in it. Now, I know that some people have problems with certain programs being so old that Wacom tablet drivers aren't connecting to them because of the fact that they're old and they Wacom tablets weren't around then. That could be the issue, but I, I thought Illustrator was new. So why would there be a problem like that? Now, turns out I also made a pen stand. Now, it so turns out that it's not as easy as I thought it was. Not as easy as Photoshop either. Number one, there was a giant paintbrush in my way of seeing where I'm drawing exactly. I could draw like two lines on the left and I want to draw them on the right. And I drew them on the left by accident. You never know, right? Now, that's my first problem. My second problem, it wasn't a real problem because you could fix it very easily. But it was the stage size. It was set to 620 by a hundred, like a hundred, by like 220. And the stage size was like this tall and this thin. That's not good, especially when you want graphic design. That's what it's for, is graphic design, right? You don't want that. Now, my third problem was probably the most biggest problem I really had was that, um, what you call it? That the um pen when I was drawing. Now, I know I'm not recapping the pressure sensitivity problem, but when I drew, here's the biggest problem of all, is that it was uniform. Now, I figured out, no, I had a problem like this in Toon Boom, and I figured out how to fix it, right? Well, there's a problem I couldn't figure out how to fix. I eventually fixed it, but I didn't even know what I did. So, it was either a glitch, or I pressed something I didn't mean to, and it fixed. So, yeah. So, I... My recap, I will tell you my exact final results in a minute and show you the footage and you can tell, you can tell, your, you can ask yourself, is, is this the program you want? So, uh, I'll let the footage explain. Greetings, everyone. This is Action Number 3 with another video. Sorry about that intro. Today we're going to talk some about uh, Illustrator. Now, I hate this program already for one important reason. Let me show you with the brush. I'm going to press really lightly, and not hard, exact same, there's no pressure sensitivity, it's not fair, I don't find that fair, and this doesn't even work, what's wrong with it, whoa, wait, what's this, so it doesn't work directly, does that work, okay, let's just go back here, because it's not working, right. but, oh, so, off the bat, you can see I had a giant problem, let me, let, let me show you the rest of the footage, so we can change that. Let's turn it back to 100 because I don't like that. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, I already don't like it. Alright, so. Apparently there are no brushes in Illustrator. And plus this big brush is in the way. And the lines are too uniformed. Look, like I can't. Let's do a construction line, shall we? They're too uniformed. And they're too laggy. Yeah, I can pretty much see why you're like, Jonathan, you're an idiot. You're a giant idiot because it doesn't look like anything's wrong. There is. If you were up close seeing what I'm seeing on the footage directly, then you would see that there's a giant problem with how the brush lags and how the brush is too uniform. Now, eventually, like I said, I did fix the uniform problem. I'm not sure what I did. Maybe you can watch the footage and tell me what I did because I really don't know. That just won't work. See, there there's no pressure sensitivity. I can't deal with that. Is it this? Is it stroke? 
No? Or is it? Wait, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. So I just solved that problem. Potentially. Yeah, I just solved it. Very, took me a couple of seconds. Let's, uh, let's open up a new document. This is a radio menu. Does the radio menu work? Already? No, it does not. Okay. Ah! Uh, so my radio menu doesn't apparently work. Alright. I'll, I'll take that. Alright. Hold on. Hopefully you can still see it. Alright. There. No, I want my size sit back right there. Stop it. Yeah, see, it's too laggy. I don't like it when it's laggy like this. See, so maybe you saw some of the problems I had with the program. And you saw the problem, so maybe now you can think to yourself, is this the program you want, really? Okay, because I'm not really sure if this is if you want a really laggy program unless you have a super good computer. I mean, like super good. If you want pro, if you want pressure sensitivity, this is directly not the program for you. Considering that all the Adobe products are like are like three hundred bucks. Like all, if you buy all of them, they're like three hundred to. I don't know. Like I don't know. They're about they're about a hundred bucks a week. I mean a month. Which doesn't seem that bad, but if you're an artist who likes Adobe products and can only afford a couple of them, I wouldn't buy all of them for like 50, 60, even 100 bucks a month. That's not, I don't think that's really good. That's why I just crack all my products. Maybe. Potentially. Some of them not. But yeah, so... Maybe you could see some of the potential, potential non-potential, and potential, and even happening problems that I had, and maybe you can solve them for yourself, and think about, it. is this the program for you? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.